Hey everyone, this is Soumya from Bookface channel. Today we are going to see on the topic with the photographer which is written by Stephen Leo Cook. When you go for the writer's introduction, Stephen P. H. Butler Leo Cook, FRSC. He was born in the year 18, uh, 1986 and he was passed away in the year 1944. He is a Canadian teacher, a political scientist, writer and humorist. And when you talk about his writings, they depict the reality of human life. He talks about the modernity and what the real life is. So one such example is the worthy photographer work of Stephen, where he talks about the two characters. One seems to enjoy the leisure of the modern life in the modern inventions. Other wanted to live with the nature. He wanted to enjoy the nature what is given to him. So let's see through what it is and before that I just want to tell you I have posted the particular content in Tamil also. If you are in need of that you can refer the description. Please do share and subscribe our channel to get for the more subscribes. Let both of us be benefited. When you go for the characters, narrator he is a customer and second photographer who is a shopkeeper. Photographer is uh, clearly portrayed as a natural scientist whose vision is very Bright, but his eyes were dimmed by the clouds of modernity. And uh, we'll get into the short story. The story opens as the narrator speaks. I went, I want my photograph taken. So the narrator he goes to a shop where he wants to take a photo. He talks about the photographer photograph. And he says that uh, he has to be taken a photo. Where the shopkeeper asked him to wait for a some time. Sit there, he said, and wait. So sit there and dry, uh, wait. I'll uh, make your work happen within few minutes, he says. And while he was sitting for an hour, he started reading uh, the latest companion for 1912, the girls magazine for 1902 and the infant journal uh, for 1888. And after a few minutes, after an hour, the photographer opened the indoor and he comes in. He started asking the person to get into the studio. When he goes for a photograph, he was uh, pressed with the outer appearance, the surroundings around him. But also he was very confident in order to take a photograph. The face is quite strong, he said. So the photographer, when he, was, uh, when he has taken a photo, the first sentence he put forward is that, his face was in a quite wrong manner. He wanted to adjust it. Who? The narrator wanted to adjust his own face. Then the narrator says, I know about it. Let's uh, take a photograph. Again, when he, come, he comes up with the second thing, he starts blaming his appearance, his ears, his eyebrows, etc. These things led him to a great anger. Where he says, Oh no, I have uh, retouched them. So he says, I'll adjust it, I'll make it, I have retouched. Shall we take the photo again? So after a long process, a photo has been taken and he says it, I'll return back your photo. How? Oh, there is nothing to see it. He said, I have to develop the negative first. Come back on Saturday and I'll let you see a proof of it. So you can come back on Saturday and you can see a proof of your photograph. Where the narrator goes back to the Photoshop on Saturday. He sees his photo. He starts up with the question, is it me? So is it the one I am who is in the photograph? Yes, he said quietly, it is you. Yeah, it is absolutely you. Do you have any doubt with it? A question is the photographer. Yes, the eyes I don't look very much like me. He says, eyes are not like me. He's, again, the photographer says, he had retouched the eyes. In order to add more flavor, he had also made an adjustment with his eyebrows. Where he says, your eyebrows are not good for you, though I have also I have taken your eyebrows. When he says, it is not actually his mouth. He says, I have made a bitter adjustment with your mouth. And yes, he says, there is a sulfate a solution which can take off your ears. So, without ears, it looks uh, in a good manner. And also, he has taken the lower hair in his face. His skull was not in a good manner. Everything he started putting up one by one. This hurted the narrator more where he says, Listen, I interrupted, drawing myself up and animating my features to full extent and speaking with a withering scorn that should have blasted the man on the spot. So he says, Listen, uh, you can see the exclamation when you refer the text. 
this stresses the sorrowness and the depressed state of the narrator where his depression comes up in the form of the word because he had changed for everything in his face that god has given he say blames that everything in his face was not in a good manner and he had made a slight adjustment in it listen i came here for a photograph a picture something which would uh, have looked like me i wanted something that would depict my face as heaven gave it to me so i want something my face which should uh, express the heavenly quality the heavenly quality given by the god i don't want to make some changes or to make something in it i just want my original face my face is only in order to make my remembrance for my family and my, for my friends once i leave the world so i don't want all these extra fittings go on then with your brutal work take a negative or whatever it is you call it dip it in sulfide bromide oxide carbide anything you like remove the eyes correct the mouth adjust the face restore the lips uh, reanimate the neck or uh, neck tie and reconstruct the waist coat coat it with an inch of glass shade it emboss it gild it till even your knowledge that is finished so what are the things you want to do make it with it you don't only want to fill it with the sulfide you can also dip it in the bromide oxide carbide etc you can adjust the tie you can adjust the waistcoat you can do what are the things that you wanted to do in the name of something which is modern something which is more likely something which is given more preference but i don't want the photograph which has been a change which has been a made a full change instead you can have it and you can share it with your friends they'll be happy that uh, you are very talented i don't want these things they may value it they your friends may value these kinds of work but i don't value because it is not my true identity i clearly object this he says and with the tears he leaves the shop so here i conclude my video once again i tell you i have posted the particular content in tamil if you are in need of that you can refer the description please do like share and subscribe our channel to get for the more updates thank you